Okay, so believe it or not, today we are going to do a couple stretches here. I've got a friend here with me. She is a yoga specialist. She's very, very sought after in this area of Phoenix down here in Scottsdale. Um, her name is Sophia, and she's going to obviously help with a little bit of these stretches as well. First stretch that I'm, I'm noticing that I, I like for hamstring purposes is obviously a yoga strap hooked over the heel. And she, I like the way she just rests it right there, you know, under the table. She's got support under her head, which seems to be very helpful. All she's going to do is kind of just tug up on that or choke up on that if she needs to. And she's going to feel all of this pulling. This is obviously going to be pulling in the calf. She can bring the toes towards her and she'll still feel in the Achilles, the calf, or gastroc. And then all the way down through the semi-membranosis, tendinosis, all the way to the ischial tuberosity, which is that lovable bone where everything connects into the hamstring. From there, she's going to obviously bring this leg out. As she brings this out, a lot of times what happens within this area is this leg wants to come up and compensate because it's such a pull. But if you can keep that leg down, and she does a lovely job by holding it down with her hand, that's a really, really cool thing to do. Uh, what this is basically doing is stretching the psyllis, you know, adductor magnus, uh, pectineus, you know, the adductors basically, adductors being adding to the body. So what she wants to do is basically try to take this out. Notice once again, her hand is kind of in a relaxed mode. It's also another way that she could probably do this, let go just for a moment, slip your forearm through there. Depending on the size of the rope or the ordeal, she could obviously even bring this up almost like that, depending upon how tight you want to, want to put that. Um, for people that don't want to kind of hold everything, you could use implement more body. Um, another way to also implement that would also be the even engaging the other hand, you know, as in just allowing it to kind of stretch just like this, okay, if this one hand is too weak for you, okay. And then from there, she's going to bring it on up, she's going to shift, if you notice that supple shift in the hip, that was nice, and what she's going to do is she's going to bring this arm out, much like that with that elbow in there, which is going to allow this kneecap to transfer past that sternum. And all she's doing is giving a light little tug. You're saying, I don't feel that. Maybe you need to ch choke up a little bit on that rope. Maybe that would be helpful. But the goal is to rest the leg, and then obviously you're gonna feel that into the glute max, glute medius, and possibly also some of the piriformis, okay? Now, if you did not have this rope on this particular stretch, I'm going to take this rope from her and make that disappear. She's going to throw in a little extra here where she's going to obviously implement this kind of a fulcrum ordeal where she's pushing down, obviously, on that, uh, I guess you'd say, you know, the adductor region. The she's just kind of putting some pressure downward with her leg height. And she says, uh, well, you know, I don't really feel that. Well, there's another thing she could do. She could bring legs through grabbing the knee so you're interlacing with the hands and you're just bringing that right towards your chest. And on this, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to obviously feel this into the bicep femoris, which is obviously one of the larger muscles obviously here for the, the hamstring. Um, it's kind of more outside is where she's feeling that. And obviously, you know, I mean, I think that that's a fairly comfortable stretch for you. No pains, nothing like that. Don't take anything to the level of pain. Thank you, Sophia. Um, yeah, I'm David Ralston, LMT. Always trying to turn around and help people with stretching. Hopefully that stretching helps you.